Hey there! If you're a regular Minecraft player, you probably know what a hack client is. But if you don't know, a hack client is a modification to Minecraft's game client which gives the user an array of exploits, such as speed and aimbot. This gives the player an advantage in game, especially against other players. And in this video, I'm going to be creating my own hack client with a twist. I'm only allowed to use Minecraft commands, it's basically Minecraft's in-game programming language. Once my hack client is finished, I'm going to be fighting my friends using it. Oh, and they will have their own hack clients too. But without further ado, I hope you enjoy the video and let's get started. Making a hack client with only commands is almost impossible, so I will be using a data pack. It's basically a file system that uses commands to run functions. This is great because I can actually be more flexible with my code than if I just use commands. First off, I need to find enough hacks that I can make using commands. Here are the ones that I've found. As you see, they've been divided up into four sections. Movement, Combat, Player, and Visual. Now before I code any of these, I have to create a settings menu. If you've ever used a hack client before, you know that if you press right shift, a settings menu will pop up. This is where you can enable and disable hacks, and even adjust values for certain hacks. However, there's just one problem. It's very hard to make GOI without making it very scuffed in vanilla Minecraft. So instead, I will be using the chat to display my menu. It's not as good, but at least it works. Okay, this is the settings menu I made. Each line contains a hack that you can turn on and off. Some hacks even have number buttons, which means they can be set to a certain value. I even gave the menu the title Worcester Client, which makes sense honestly. To open this menu, you have to type trigger menu. Why trigger? Cause that's the only way to make custom commands in vanilla. But now that I'm done with the menu, let's code some hacks. I'm gonna be coding the hack client in sections, more specifically the hack categories. I'm gonna start with the movement category. Let's begin. <laughs> So now we're actually going to test out these hacks, and the first one is going to be speed hack. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from level 1 and gradually increase the levels until I reach level 5. Alright, so for level 1, this is actually really good. Okay, a little faster. Wow, okay, that's actually pretty fast. Look at that. Damn, I'm just flying! Okay, we're on level 5 right now, and I really don't have anything else to say. This is really good, but that's it, so let's get on to the next hack. Okay, so the next hack is high jump, and what I want to do is I want to see if I can actually jump to the top of that building from here using the highest level of jump. Go. Oh, that was so close. Oh my god, just one block off. Shh, don't tell anyone. Yeah, there we go. I did it first try. Even though it wasn't really reached legitimately, I think it's high enough. So let's get on to the next hack. So the next hack is Jesus hack. And I'm going to see if I can walk on water. And I can. I am kind of moving slow. Can I jump? Oh, no, I can't. <laughs> That's kind of disappointing. I also made it so you can actually sink underwater by holding crouch. And it seems like it works. I can swim underwater as long as I'm holding crouch. And when I let go, I go back up to the surface, which is pretty cool. But that's it. So let's get on to the next hack. So the next hack is click TP. Let me enable the hack. And there we go. Basically, what the block outline does is it tells you where you're going to be teleporting to. There is a 50 block range. As you can see, the particles do disappear after 50 blocks. So basically, how I'm going to teleport is I'm actually going to be crouch jumping instead of right clicking because Minecraft limitations. So let's aim over here and jump. There we go, it works! I can go pretty far with this, look at that. Unfortunately, this hack does see non-full blocks as full blocks, such as this torch, and I can actually teleport to it like that. But honestly, that's it, so let's get on to the next hack. So the next hack is boat fly. The boat is actually going to go up and down depending on the player's head rotation, instead of hitting space because of Minecraft limitations. Alright, so let me place the boat down, and if I go- Okay, no, that is too fast. Um, yeah, <laughs> let me make that a little bit slower. Alright, yeah, that's a lot better. By the way, boat fly also works with chest boats, which is actually pretty cool because not only are you flying in the air but you're also carrying stuff in the boat with you but honestly that's it so let's get on to the next hack all right so the next hack is entity speed and as you can see right now this horse is pretty slow so let's make it faster all right yeah a little faster oh yeah this is a lot faster wow this is a huge speed difference right here at this point there's nothing else to say i mean this is really fast there's nothing else to change really so honestly i think the hack is done uh, Alright, so the next hack is glide. Let's enable glide. I actually can't see it. I'm so blind. Oh, okay, there it is. Three, two, one, go. Uh, it should be fixed now. Let's see. 
Okay, yeah, that's way better. That's actually really smooth, wow. It's about a four block drop before you get the effects of glide, but that's all there is to glide. So let's get on to the next hack. The next hack is the jetpack hack. So let's hold crouch and that's actually really good. And it's fast too, from the bottom to the top of the building. It's about a second. You do take fall damage, which is a con. So if we actually go from here and just drop, yeah, there we go. But I did just code one hack that is really helpful, the glide hack. So if we just fly up and just like go, Oh, there we go, yeah. See, no fall damage, which is really cool. But that's everything for jetpacks, so let's get on to the next hack. So now all the hacks in the movement section are done. The next category I'm going to code is going to be the combat category. Let's get started. <laughs> Alright, so the first combat hack is aimbot. It's fairly simple, let's summon a husk, and there we go. Camera automatically locks onto the mob, 100% accuracy rate right there. I also made it so if you actually crouch, you can actually look away from the mob, because it gets kind of annoying at some times, and it does affect your movement. But yeah, that's basically it for the hack. Okay, so the next hack is bow aimbot. So let me summon a husk, and there we go. So it looks like aimbot, but it actually predicts motion, as you can see right there, depending on how fast it is and how far away it is too. Okay, we can start from about here, and if we shoot it, there we go, pretty easy. So, let's actually go a little bit further. There's about a 50 block range, so you will actually disconnect. But there we go, and if we shoot, there we go! Let me go summon a baby husk, and because that is actually a lot harder to shoot at. But let's just wait for it to move. Oh, that was kind of laggy there. There we go! Okay, let's just shoot it one more time. Honestly, that was pretty good. Honestly, if this bow had infinity, this hack would be a lot more reliable. But that's it for this hack, so let's get on to the next one. Alright, so the next hack is anti-knockback. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to summon a husk with a knockback 10 stick without any knockback resistance how far it pushes me back. There we go. Alright, let me turn on anti-knockback and let's see the difference. Literally nothing. It, it can't push me back. It's just going to keep hurting me. So this hack is almost perfect. However, there is one problem. If you use explosives, you will actually still take knockback. So if I stand right here, as you saw there, I got knocked up. Other than that though, that's pretty much it. So let's get on to the next hack. All right, so the next hack is crystal aura. Now this crystal aura isn't like a normal crystal aura. This crystal aura places end crystals on the same Y level as a mob's feet. So that means if I have obsidian here, I'm actually gonna have to push up the mob in order for its feet to be around here so the hack can place the crystal. But that's basically how every crystal fight goes. So it's not really a big deal. So I have my crystal PVP kit right here. It's pretty normal. And I'm gonna be summoning a fully armored zombie with four toes. Items. Yeah, I'm gonna see how fast I can kill it in three two one go. Okay, did not do anything. Okay All right, okay, the uh, it's kind of laggy Okay, oh uh, Yeah, okay, my world's very laggy right now, but I can tell that it's actually doing something All right, but honestly, that's basically it. it's just a basic crystal aura other than that. Let's get on to the next hack Alright, so this next hack is Anchor Aura. Now, Anchor Aura is literally just Crystal Aura, but actually a lot better because now, in Anchor Aura, the explosive is on the same Y level as the feet, always. So you don't really have to worry about where you're placing the obsidian. So with this in mind, I'm also going to be fighting another armored zombie. In 3, 2, 1, go. You coming? Okay. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, shoot. Okay, no, it's killing me too. <laughs> oh my god. No way. It used just under half a stack of anchors, which is pretty good. That's 31 anchors. And yeah, as you see, there's a lot of waste, but honestly, I can't really do anything about that. Now, I want to try that again. That was actually pretty cool. All right. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's a lot cleaner. And I'm going to... Yep, I, I'm about to die. Okay. Okay, that's actually a lot better. Now that only used 16 crystals, which is actually pretty cool. Honestly, I think Anchor Aura takes a kick with CPVP for this hack client. I mean, this is really efficient and deadly at the same time. And of course, you can always use a combo with end crystals. It's not, not a bad idea. But yeah, that's it. So let's get on to the next hack. All right, so this next hack is Auto Totem. A pit of wardens versus a full inventory of totems. I wonder how long I'm going to last. 
Oh, instantly. Oh god. It's actually surprisingly not that bad. Against like 7 wardens, I think that hack is pretty good. So let's get on to the next hack. Now, if you are angry that you haven't seen any sort of combat target filtering, yes, I have made one, but it's very simple. There's just three options, player, passive, and hostile. Passive is like animals and stuff. Hostiles are basically all the mobs that spawn at night or just unnatural mobs. And players are players. This works for most of the combat hacks, basically all the hacks that target entities. Just to test it real quick, I'm going to test it with all three and use a mod. So let's summon a husk. So right now I'm locked onto the husk and if I just disabled hostile, there we go. If I summon a pig, I'm locked onto him, and if I turn it off, there we go. But that's basically it. And yeah, that's it for the combat category. The next category I'm going to code is player. It's going to be pretty small with only two hacks. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I spent a long time on this video, so I would really appreciate it. Aight, thanks. Okay, so the next hack is speed mine. My goal is for the stone pickaxe to instant mine stone on the highest level because that's the tool people would mostly use when hacking. First of all, I'm just gonna see how it is on the first level. Honestly, that's pretty good. It's a little subtle, but that's basically the point of the lowest level. Let's now set it to 5. Okay, that's actually really good, yeah. This is pretty effective. The durability, though, on the stone pickaxe is, yeah, really bad. But honestly, that hack is pretty good, so let's get on to the next one. Alright, so the next hack is scaffolding. This is pretty simple. All you have to do is hold a block. Doesn't matter if it's in your main hand or off hand and all you have to do is just jump and it'll place blocks under you not just jumping though you can actually walk around and basically bridge so like this it is a little laggy honestly it's pretty reliable this is like really cool look at this oh yeah that does happen sometimes i mean as long as you don't do crazy things in the air you'll just be fine but that's it so let's get on to the next hack and just like that, the player category is done. There's one last category before I can PvP my friends, and that's visual. Let's get started. Okay, so the next hack is Fulbright. It's currently nighttime right now, so let me enable Fulbright, and perfect! So it should turn off instantly if I disable it. That's it! Let's get on to the next hack. Alright, so the next hack is Tracers. Now, just like every other hack client, you can actually customize your Tracers to draw lines to certain mobs. Now, just like combat settings, Tracers is pretty simplified. Uh, there's Player Tracers, Passive Tracers, and Hostile Tracers. Let me turn on Passive, and there we go! So there is a red line pointing to the cow, which is pretty cool, and it'll instantly go away once you disable it, just like that. And there's also Hostile Tracers, and if we turn that on, there's a red line pointing to the husk. If I turn on Player, it's not really going to work because there's no one on to show that and also because i have no friends but it does work and that's basically it there is a range about a 50 block range because you don't want to have like mobs showing up a thousand blocks away it's just pretty annoying and yeah there we go it's around here and then it stops and then once you walk back in there we go let's get on to the next hack okay we're finally on the last hack and it's trajectories and this is pretty simple but it's also really cool so i have a hot bar of projectiles and basically all i have to do is hold them and as you see there is a particle line showing the trajectory of the projectile to where it's going to land and as you see there's a green box that's like a rough estimate of the block it's going to land at let me back up a little bit and if i shoot at the center there we go! It's never gonna be really precise because there is some projectile randomness. This doesn't just work with bows, but also crossbows, tridents, snowballs, eggs, fishing rod too, and potions. They all have different gravity variables and all that stuff, so that's why they're all different. But they're pretty accurate, so if we shoot the snowball... Yeah, there we go. And the potion... Perfect. If I summon a husk, and let me go all the way out here, with the trident actually, and if I throw one... Perfect! It is pretty reliable, but it's not always going to be perfect. But that's basically it for the hack! Some of you viewers have noticed that I have one last thing I have encoded, the HUD. It's actually a really convenient feature that hack clients have. It basically shows your position, your head rotation, and your dimension, among a few other things that I'm not really going to focus on. It's not really a hack, as the contents of the HUD can also be found when pressing F3. The only available area on the screen to add text is on a place called the action bar. It's actually a really good place to put the HUD, however, some Minecraft messages won't be shown as a result. 
Okay, so if we enable HUD in the menu, this little thing pops up. It might be a little bit hard to understand, and it's actually not that bad. So these are your coordinates. This is the direction you're facing. This is your head rotation, and this is the dimension you're currently in. If we teleport to the end, everything should change. Yep, currently at 0, 0, and it says the end, which is perfect. And that's basically it! So, I'm basically done coding this hack client. The next thing I'm gonna do is fight my friends using the hack client. Now, what if mate is definitely not going to be able to win against melee combat only, so I'm gonna be fighting my friends in crystal PvP. So, I'm gonna first fight them without them using any hacks, and then after that, I'm gonna fight them while they use their own hack clients. Ready, Lazzy? Yeah. Okay, 3, 2, 1, go. Oh my god. Oh my god, that hurts so much. <laughs> Oh no, no, no. I'm just- Oh my fucking- No. <laughs> no way, no way, that was like one shot, bro. Oh no. my god! That wasn't even fair, bro. You did, You got destroyed right there. Are you guys ready? Oh, Quang is- yeah. You guys ready? Okay. Three, two, one, go. Whoever first rushes oh, him is dead. I'm gonna be the saving grace for our team. Oh! We just shoot him over and over, like, I don't know. Oh my god. How is the fucking bro? Exactly! Uh, oh oh shoot, I almost died there. Oh. Bro. Oh shoot. I am not looking at my things. No, 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 no. Oh my god. Like hurts, bro. Oh. No. Oh. No. No. Oh, there we go. No. There we go. Okay. I'm safe. No, I'm not safe. <laughs> I'm probably not going to stand a chance against you guys, bro. <laughs> All right, we're doing we're doing all hack clients, all hack clients oh, versus. Uh -huh. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. I, I don't even need that. Oh my god. What is that? Oh shit! I forgot I had HUD. Let me enable HUD. Oh, this is actually kind of hard. Uh, nope, it's not at all. What? <laughs> Holy! Bro, oh my do god! Do I have velocity? Bro, I didn't have velocity on. <laughs> oh my god! What does velocity? Oh, it just enables like speed hacks and stuff. Oh, I forgot I had speed hacks. Let me do that. I have speed hacks. Oh my god! No way! <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay, it's a 3v1 now, it's a 3v1. What is this? Dude, if I just charge with anchors, I'm 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 set. I'm born ready, bitch. Born ready. I doubt that. Ready, set, go. <laughs> no, my click TP doesn't reach that far. Oh. <laughs> Get his ass. I do have click TP. What? What? What is a mangrove anyway? I don't it's so hard seeing what the hell they are. Oh my god. Oh my screen. Oh my. Oh. oh. Yeah. Ooh, I escaped. I escaped. Let's go. I have two totems. Imagine. Oh. <laughs> no way, this is an actual thing. Oh shit. You guys can't beat me after this. Oh, let's go. No, don't you dare. It's my boat. What? Bro, why do I have so Oh my god. Oh. Ah. 
No, wait, somebody died. Uh oh. No. I'm done. I'm dead for. Ooh. No way. Oh, no, no, I escaped. <laughs> Where the fuck is Blinkus? <laughs> yeah, exactly, bro. Oh, shoot. Hi, Blinkus. Oh, no, 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 no. I have no obsidian. Dude, what is that? It's <laughs> just speed mine. It's literally just speed mine plus speed five. Oh, I found you. No! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> the anchor aura! Uh GG! Dude, I, I drained so quickly. That was such an epic fight. Okay. So, how was it? Honestly, pretty good. If you're fighting a single person, you're most likely going to kill them. Like how I killed Lotzi even when he had his hack client on. Fighting a group is harder because you have to deal with a bunch of people. I do admit I could have done better when fighting all three of my friends. Especially when they had their hack clients on. I don't know why I made a boat. <laughs> that was pretty stupid. If I also actively kept trying to kill one person, like killing Lotzi who kept spamming harming arrows at me, I probably would have lasted longer. So, was this whole hack client worth it? <laughs> no. I mean, it was pretty fun playing with my friends but other than that i don't think i would do this ever again i'm going to put the heck line in the description for you guys to download but don't actually use it seriously because it's not really good i mean the name says it all i also forgot to do one thing which i just did the menu now is sorted by category so it's easier to locate hacks pretty cool also i really apologize for not posting anything for literally a whole year definitely not because of procrastination but yeah and that's it for this video i'll see you guys in the next one bye Okay, it's like at 5 TPS. I mean, 20 TPS. Oh like my god. <laughs> Wait, is it on easy mode? No! No! Oh, oh my god. Oh no, it's already it set to easy. easy. <laughs> no! It's on easy. We gotta try that all over again. Okay, let's restart. Let's restart.